explosive. Harold Tinubu's minister reportedly bribes a pick court judges with $5 million to sack Plateau governor as presidential aide alleges. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. In a telling revelation on X, formerly known as Twitter, Mr. Jackson Uday, an independent journalist and the former aide to ex-president Kulok Jonathan, has levied serious accusation against a big court judges. The explosive post cited by the latest news blog is titled, A big court judges received $5 million bribe money to sack loud to governor. According to Jackson Uday, the former governor, Samuel Lalong, currently serving, as a minister for labor, allegedly distributed a staggering $5 million to three RP court judges, Justice Dawundu, Justice Akam, and Justice Waziri. The purported objective was to unseat Governor Kleb of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and declare Nan Nantawi the all Progressive Congress APC candidate as the winner of the 2023 governorship elections. Ude noted that sources suggest that a high level meeting occurred after the lawyers' conference meeting in Abuja on Thursday, attended by Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Baje Biamila, the National Security Advisor, Nurse Ribado, and the Minister of, of the Minister for Labor, Samuel Lalo, allegedly during this meeting, a decision was made to tax Lalo with delivering the substantial cash amount to influence the judges. Following the directive, Lalo supposedly reportedly swiftly board, boarded a private jet accompanied by Justice Waziri, a member of the panel, overseeing the case. The destination was revealed to be Lagos, where the illicit fund was allegedly handed over to the judges at Marriott Hotel. The motive behind these actions, according to Jackson, Jackson Uday, is the APC government's determined effort to secure and retain control of Lato State. The gravity of this accusation is significant as it involves not only a former governor and current minister, but also implicates individuals in prominent government positions. The potential impact on the political landscape of Plateau State is profound, raising concerns about the integrity of the electoral process and the independence of the judiciary. Mr. Jackson Day's post on X read as follows. The former governor, Samuel Lanlock of Plateau State, and the current minister for labor had shared $5 million to justice. He had shared $5 million to justice that would do justice Akam and justice Waziri to sack Governor Clegg of the All Progressive Congress Party, PDP, and declare the All Progressive Congress, APC uh, governorship candidate, winner of the 2023 governorship elections. The chief of staff to the president, Femi Banjebia Mila, the national security advisor, Ribado, and the minister for labor, Samuel Lalog, Samuel Lalog met after the lawyers' conference meeting in Abuja on Thursday and mandated Lalog to deliver the cash. Lanlock immediately got into a private jet with Justice Waziri, who, a, who is on the panel and flew to Lagos, where the money was delivered to, just, to, to judges at Marriott Hotel. The APC government are bent on retaining Plateau State. Hmm. There is fire on the mountain. There is 
problem in Nigeria. If this is what APC is bent doing, if this is true, this is really <laughs> a big problem to Nigerian democracy. You understand? This is a, a big problem to Nigerian democracy. Meanwhile, Umar Dan Guma, the national chairman for the of the People's Democratic Party PDP, has raised a grave accusation as well, asserting that a powerful a cabal within the presidency is orchestrating a scheme to undermine the democratic rights of Nigerians. This claim was voiced at the PDP's National Secretariat in Abuja during a statement on Thursday in testifying concerns about the state of democracy in Nigeria. According to Damago, this alleged cabal is strategic, strategically plotting to disregard the will of the people and show favorism towards the ruling all progressive congress apc he expressed apprehension about an ongoing agenda by the apc to systematically weaken democracy jeopardize the democratic rights of nigerians suppress the rule of law and transform the nation into a fight dome controlled by the price of this clandestine group. The PDP leader deemed it essential to alert Nigerians to the perceived prey, contending that the nation is swiftly descending into a state of what Nigerians we might not be able to describe when all this has been achieved. Well, <clears throat> There is fire on the mountain. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping by.